You might want to go far and you might find that opportunities are right here. You just need to create them for yeah. yourself. Exactly. And looking at you, you came all the way from Eastern Cape. Uh, tell us about that, Andy. The Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape to Musina. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Before he tells us that, hello and hi, welcome to Pearl Media. Now, on today's video, as I did promise you guys that um, I am looking into inviting different uh, people to come into the party or into our series, where we'll be talking about our weight loss journey. Weight loss journey with Pearl, with Pearl Media. Now, on today's uh, video or episode, which I will be calling part two, um, I have invited Andile. Andile is an aerobics trainer. Are you an aerobics trainer? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, he does more than that, but we will get to know more about him as we move along. And um, we hope to actually share a couple of clips where we were behind the scenes and actually seeing what Andile and his group actually get to because now um, what he does is quite inspirational. Now, without any further ado, Andile, you are welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Welcome to Pearl Media. My name is Andile and I work every day Monday to Friday, training mm -hmm. people, doing karate, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday morning, I do fitness. Call it aerobics. We do step. We do tires. Mm -hmm. It's all about working out. Yes. But I realized that when it comes to tires, it was something that you just recently incorporated. It's something that you started doing not so long ago. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, okay. Because of sometimes we need to come different exercises mm -hmm. and tensing training. Because because people are they are so big they want to lose. So yeah. tires is more of effect to, to make the body lose because you have to pick it up, you have to push it, you have to pull it. So we're trying to, to get to, to, to change the direction of training people. Mm. Well, speaking of people that have gained weight, um, friends, if you listened to my first video, which I hope to link it up here, um, I did explain to our viewers that um, during the period of lockdown, uh, since 2020 it was quite a lazy time and relaxing where a lot of us turned into junk food for comfort we turned into food that was not necessarily good for our health and there wasn't much um workout or body uh, um what can i call it uh body fitness happening uh, in the sense that the gyms were closed there were no fitness uh, companies that were operating throughout the lockdown but that was until I went to our local Leslie Maniatela Stadium now Andre, on that particular day you know what happened um, I thought to myself because there's no gym around Musina by the way we are in Musina Limpopo province I thought because there was no gyms that were operating at the time let me go run a couple of laps around the Leslie Maniatela Stadium and when I got there, that's when I met Anile. Do you still remember that day? Yes, yes, yes. What What do you guys do at the at the stadium? Please just tell everybody. At the stadium, uh, we do it's more, it's, it's more like dancing. Yeah. It's like fitness, enjoyment, with the music, and people keep music keep people motivation. That's true. And different music because some of them they have makati, some of them they have so that music brought them back to something they don't go actually to, to, to the bars and listen to that music. Yeah. So yeah. when they come to the to the gym and play the music that they like, they want to yeah. So when they think about it, sitting at home, they think about okay, I'm gonna play makati. <laughs> Let's follow him that time. <laughs> so yeah. That is so true. There is a gem that everybody likes, but you'll get to hear that gem um, later on throughout the show. Um, Andile, you said you are from Eastern Cape. What brought you to Musina? How long have you been here? 15 years in 2021. I came in 2005 with my uncle. Mm -hmm. It's a cut off when I was still young. Yeah. Things happened for the reason and 
my parents they passed away my mom and my, my dad in the same year oh, the grand man mm-hmm. yeah so my aunt decided no since i don't have parents yeah you can just help me since he knows that i'm only left with my the grandma the grandma mm-hmm. can't walk i was looking after the grandma and the grandma passed away and said no there's nobody else so let me take this young man since he's got a career that i'm doing because yeah. my uncle was doing karate as well karate yes we learn under him karate taiko actually we learn taiko in sense in sense they don't do karate box it's only from jobek to the side so mm-hmm. different of they call the name some of them they call step so what i kept here was different it was called something something mm, else yes. and then it's a different else it's more like taiko taiko it's more active it's more testing fitness you punch 20 times more than 40 times mm-hmm. in the one song you keep on punching kicking so in karate box it is there's a jaiunyana like yoga It's everything got a box so i enjoy you, it you call it what box kata box kata box yes. interesting i must say um i've learned quite a lot uh, in the sense that dance can actually be a sort a sort of exercising uh, routine and you should watch the videos that we have lined up throughout uh, this interview because it is Ooh, you should see the enthusiasm when it comes to that. You are quite enthusiastic and you are so energetic. My goodness, where do you get all that energy from? <laughs> <laughs> well, through the I'm doing this not I even quit my my job as a cat because of enjoyment of this thing. I wake up at half past 5 in the morning. Mm. I train. So I end up getting used to it. I've been doing this for more than 10 years now. Since my mom left me with this the club. Yeah. I, I never stop. I never I understand that there was a downfall sometimes you mm-hmm. go up in a business mm-hmm. but I never quit I never give up where I am still here indeed speaking about something of uh, that nature one needs to put in the work and if you if you are passionate about something I feel like everything else and what people might have to say about you does not matter you put in the work and the effort and the hours your dedication which is one of the things that i actually saw from this young man um and like, i remember the day that i i came to uh, the stadium i had absolutely no idea what was happening and i thought my body is not going to work as much as everybody else is doing he had me running he had me jogging he had me squatting he had me dancing i can't dance by the way <laughs> <laughs> i can't dance but um What this man did was quite amazing. It's like you are taking steps and your background is um music that has quite a lot of um rhythm and you dance in accordance to that rhythm, to that rhythm. Tell us how did you come up with such a uh, um routines and make made it an a, a way of exercising? And I must say um calories are burned. How did you come up with that? it's up that thing because when i came here this guy called billy mm-hmm. he was my student for karate and i still remember the day that i went to that field yeah, it was yeah. 2015 mm-hmm. he came to me and said coach can you do me a certificate because i want to start this kata box mm-hmm. said, okay what's kata box and he showed me the video said, you didn't even know about it at the time yeah <laughs> it was like different name but I, yeah. and i said you know it's all similar type but it's different mm-hmm. so i keep on going in some time then at the middle i started this 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 this, this I, went, i remember the day, day that year because i was doing with the other box yeah and then i had to fix myself to something else so the lady came to me and said until you are gifted why can you try this thing called step yeah, yeah. step play he gave me the old video so i had to learn that video for for a week Mm. I said no let me change because I am enjoying step more than kata box mm. so when when I shifted to the to the step yeah. it's where now when I look at that guy's video how it flows mm-hmm. where the dance come from the root the, the music he talks a lot you know you don't care about pain follow the music follow mm-hmm. the rhythm mm-hmm. yes so we started to to, to to do the step every day in the gym so the gym board me steps to the zenzel so they hired they hired me the zenzel mm-hmm. I was one of the person who does that So I went to competition once. I was defeated like nobody else. And I told myself, <laughs> "Wow!" From that day, I will come put my own dance on the dance on myself. I will never go back. Yeah. So now I'm one of the best on the stage. I must say, I absolutely know nothing about dancing, but my moves have improved. 
All thanks to, to your establishment. <laughs> and guys, if there is any of you out there who are within our community of Musina, we are just by Leslie Manyatela Stadium, or rather, Andile, Coach Andile is just by uh, um, Leslie Manyatela Stadium. And if you feel that going to the gym and all of that is just too much of a hassle, maybe go try and visit them. Now, Andile, I... I I see that you have quite a number of ladies um, working out and a few men. Now, what I'm what I'm wondering is that how do you manage your schedule? Um, are you always there uh, all the time, or do you have assistants? How do you manage that um, number of people? And how many people are on your uh, uh, the people that work out with you? How many are they? The ladies. Mm -hmm. All of them, men, women. Probably we twenty six. 26. Yes. That's a good number. I decided to hire these two boys. Actually, not hire the children because one day they are from Messina. So, mm -hmm. at least I'm not from here from Eastern Cape. It might be a year or two years I have to leave. Yeah. But at least without the jealous of this place and I love this place, mm -hmm. let me install something with these boys and then they can carry on with, with the same way I care for more than 10 years. Doing yeah. the same thing. So, at least bring the youth, take out in the street. I don't know, remember the Zibunya, the track wave. So these boys are still in school to 11, but imagine that the effort that they put in the after school, after they study, they come to the team and work with the different ladies. So yeah. That's that's true. They are, it's two of them. Then. Yes. What are their names again? Tiniko and Tino. Tiniko and Tino. Um, I remember when I when I went there, yo, they were not laughing. It's like you taught them so good that whether you are new or old, they know why they are there. And they represent you quite well. I've been to 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 um the stadium or the their workout arena, and he was not there. But yet they keep they keep the the the, the music going. They keep the workouts going, and it's quite amazing. Well done, there. Thank you. Well done. It, it would be so amazing to have young men of such caliber that are able to learn something and actually do it without being followed around or a hey, do this and do that. Now, Andile, um, Uchilo Uti, uh, it's not just aerobics that you do, but Unowe Zikarati. And you actually mentioned that your uncle may his uh, soul rest in peace, that um, he's the one that actually taught you. And um, are you still doing karate? Yes, I'm still doing karate. Tell us more about that. Uh, I'm doing karate with the juniors, um, the small kids mm -hmm. from, from five years older. It depends. Who wants, who likes it, who doesn't like it, but now I'm welcome anybody. Yeah. Doesn't matter, you get money, you donate money, mm -hmm. but it depends because I'm coming from the poor family as well. Mm -hmm. So I understand the pain that the parent maybe doesn't have the, the, the money to support the kids. And the kids love the sport. Yeah, so sometimes sure. we have to su support these kids, see that they still have a life, not that about taking a friend and go sit on the corner and get, think mm -hmm. about stealing, think about what. So yeah, I enjoy karate a lot. It taught me a lot of things. I love the, the concept and the idea of taking the young ones out of the streets. As we can see, there's a lot that is happening within our community and um, within the world, the globe at, at large. It's not just in South Africa, but other countries. But the, the rates of um, uh, drug abuse, the rates of teenage pregnancy is quite high. And it, with an establishment like yours, it literally does keep kids out of the streets. And I, I hope that you are actually teaching them um, to be better young women and better men, most especially the, the men, of course. And um, as Andile, he can only do so much, but it takes us as a community. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you are doing. Andile, I believe that um, when it comes to the aerobic classes, the ones that you administer here by Leslie Man Maniatela Stadium, um, there are certain payments that goes in there. How does it work? How does one become a member with you with you guys? All right. 
We, we, before we started to, to, to have a class in, 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 the, in the location, mm -hmm. we will look at that where we're coming from. Yes, yes. There's people that like to exercise, but they don't have money. So we, we decided town, um, actually like in a big club in town, okay. 10 now, because same tennis court that is in town now. Mm -hmm. So those people, they are working, they, they live a good life, but they want to be to those ways. Yeah. So when they come to the location, they, they call me, they beg me, can you under the t-shirts? Yeah. But we want to pay you something, how much can you offer? Can we play? Because since we we from we are local, I understand. I also not we are not working, mm -hmm. but I love this sport. Mm -hmm. I don't know about money, but mm -hmm. I enjoy the sport. So no, I hundred rand will be fine for me. Mm -hmm. So you are you are very sick. I said no, it's not about cheapness. It's about what what is inside my heart. What I want you guys to change you to believe that my service can change you and cause someone else. When it cause someone yeah. else, it makes my my money bigger and bigger with that hundred rand. That is so true. It only take two weeks and then I have twenty people in two weeks. So yeah. It's, it's something. It's something. Wow. I, I truly love the passion behind everything. Um, guys, I haven't known Andy there for a long time, but I can literally vouch for him that he's someone who is passionate and loves what he does wholeheartedly. You will definitely see this on the video clip that we will show you behind the scenes, which was quite interesting. I do have a question for this young man. Um, in his program, he mentions that um, weight loss uh, 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 he deals with such in form of dancing aerobics. You call it zoom, zoom box? Cutter box. Cutter box. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Cutter box. Cutter box, which is dancing, right? How how does that help when it comes to one's uh, weight loss? The, the minute you, you sometimes people when they claim like I'm good, you just claim weight. Mm -hmm. It's like heavy thing to you. Yeah, I mean. It's not like dancing. Dancing, you don't feel the pain mm. because of the music keep on pushing. And when you notice about it, it bends everything because it's, it's, it's a one, it's one, one unit uh, exercise. Man. You work with the knees, you work with, with, the, with the upper body, with the hands. So you, you push, man. But when you punch, you're not yeah. just punching, you're using the body. Mm. So whatever you do against the body without using any, any equipment, mm. it's more active because of music gives you that. If I say it, turn your knees, you won't say, ah, it's too much because the music is talking to you and you're not alone. There's someone next to you is doing and you say, but this person can't pick me. So the motivation <laughs> gives you that. that My word, um, that's just something else I loved about uh, Coach Andy, this program. It's the support, the support because you are never really alone. There are some exercises that I saw um, when one is working out or one is doing the stomach or maybe it's running. You are never alone. In the sense that it's either he pairs you in how many? Four or two? Two sometimes. Sometimes four, sometimes two. Mm -mm -mm. Why did you come up with something like that? Why that strategy? When we noticed that there's people like they can't do this exercise, but they can't talk. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they would, you see, they have a problem with the back. They can't tell when they're very shy if I've got this problem with the back. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. So, so you know, could everybody to be. To, we understand what we want. Mm -hmm. So let's give you a, a better, someone I've been with you maybe a month, mm -hmm. and maybe a newcomer. Mm -hmm. And give you exercise that is gonna maybe help you. Because number one, as you said, we, we don't have equipment, like yeah. the whole things that you go to new. We're not yet have that equipment. That mm -hmm. So we decided, no, since we then we avoid to go to injuries. So let's yeah. give you a professional guy that is gonna help you and hold you and the legs, then you can push. You understand that what, what we want. If you do the wrong way, then that guy will take you. Before he, he does something, he shows you. Mm -hmm. So it's how we came with this plan. You sit down and say, no. We just know people, some of them with a new problem in town. Because mm -hmm. we have to climb the mountain yeah. up and down. So someone will tell you, I went to the doctor for the knee. Now I have to stop with me. So I said, no, man. So what we have is bring more young kids that can help do exercise, slow the, this person and mm -hmm. motivate them. It's not about chasing. It's yeah. about understanding first and then you put more effort in the exercise and having fun in the process and um, I, I as you say that yes I've seen that um, a lot of newcomers or a lot of uh, people that are new and maybe let's say you haven't been working out for a long time they do give you that special attention so that if they're doing a certain dance move they want you to learn it and uh, um, be in the same pace with everybody else which is which is extraordinary I mean 
imagine paying 100 rand and they give you all that attention i liked it that's why i'm still going back <laughs> it's quite affordable i must say um, andile you mentioned something about the first aid kit now considering the fact that you were to have an injury while you guys are working out i believe you are not um uh fully trained to do stuff like that how would you um deal with such a circumstance that's why we got this boys we are training with them so sometimes you know we, we, we have to we avoid we try to avoid at all times you know in general it can happen anytime in no my name yes so and then we don't have that kit yet in the location since we started this thing two months back now yeah so we we, we will try to, to assist every new client you know not to make it in alone because you train alone any any possible of getting in there so we don't have a kit for now we will still ask we ask uh, the studio she's trying to get us a kit because she also went to school for that i also went to pre but i stopped in the middle of of the covid okay. oh yes. okay, okay so yeah but the studio is busy organizing for us the kit or maybe next week or maybe next month i don't know but she, she's busy with that Okay, guys, I need to also mention the fact that um, he had a lot of help while he was starting this establishment. Don't you just want to tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, back to level five when the thing strikes, we 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 stuck. Yeah. You know, and the landlord had to ask me for two months and pay the money. So two months rent. Yeah, it was uh, well, the problem with the five. But I find this lady, her name is Lester from Botswana. She asked me if I can, I can come and train her. Every, she gonna ask a paper, pay me to that. She allowed to run. Then I, I'm gonna teach her. So I started to train with her on her own school, in the Nemea Secondary School. Ah. Yes. Nemea, so, is, it, it is, it, is it a primary or secondary? I'm not sure. I think it's a primary or secondary. It's mixed together, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we started in the school was a part of the, the, the teaching that school. So at least were the key. So I used to go. She started bringing his husband out of the house. Started bringing his own daughters. Bringing show that and they they still care about you even though the struggle is there. Yeah. But we will always support you. Mm-hmm. But if you do this as a favor, there's something for Mahana. Remember this one. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> that's how we started this on level five and level four with this, and then we started. She started to. To me for some some papers that I can sell sell my brand outside there. Mm. Get some cards. I mm. still have them those cards. Some of them were red and yellow. We started walking to town and give people giving uh, to people. Yeah. Mm. So we started to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Talk about marketing and just to reflect a little bit on that. It takes a village. It literally takes a village for people to come together, for one to um, succeed, for one to climb milestones and make a difference. And you are very uh, fortunate to have had Celeste um, assist you. And to her, if she ever listens to this, we appreciate you because through your work and through you believing in uh, uh, Coach Andile, we now know him and we are reaping the benefits of uh, his work. <laughs> now, Andy, um, we would like to get into the personal, the nitty gritty, you know. Are you... <laughs> are you married? No. He's not married. It means, okay, there are possibilities. Dating in a relationship? Nah, I took a break now. I'm not now. <laughs> he took a break. Guys, I say to you, he is available to mingle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah. hanging up there. <laughs> now, Andile, how do, um, if there's anyone out there that's watching who is in the Musina community, of course, um, how do they get in touch with you? How do they get hold of you if they want to be part of your training sessions? Yeah, I've got a Facebook page. Mm-hmm. That's called Andy Levena. Andy Levena. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. you can get my cell phone. You can get on my Facebook. If you've got cell phone, 079 564 1947. Or you can come to my manager stadium in location. Every day from in the morning, there's a fast fight in the morning until a fast six in the morning. There's afternoon one, five and six o'clock. Every day, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. So basically, 
there are two sessions on one day from Monday to Friday, which the morning sessions, they start from uh, half past six, half sorry, half past five until half past six. And the evening ones, they start from five o'clock until six o'clock. You guys are all welcome to come and join in. And um, we appreciate you here at Pearl Media for coming through. And thank you so much for sharing your life's journey and uh, your work with us. And we truly appreciate you. Now, with that said, beautiful people, I just want to remind you to take care of yourselves. Even if it's not for you, do it for the rest of us because you know what? You matter. You really, really, really matter. Peace. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Introduce yourself. Come again. Introduce yourself. Andy Levena. Andy Levena. Yes. What are you to these people? I'm a coach. I'm a personal trainer to them. Yeah, my people are working out with them. Yes, we are people. <laughs> what are we people? What are we to expect here for? Ah, uh, lose weight, shape the body, like this one. and enjoy. Yes, you understand. Get the pumps tight. Work the full body workout. It's a full body workout. What's next? Now? Yeah. It's going to be a little bit higher now. Just give me another five minutes. Let's take music and then we'll be there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Yes, yes, yes. Give me a second. Give me a second.